And for the tiers of government, we have the federal government, mm -hmm. the state government, and the local government. Local government. I, I, I feel, mm -hmm. or I believe, that we make the common mistake all the time of always looking to the federal government only. Mm -hmm. We have state government, we have House of Assembly members, mm -hmm. we have National Assembly members, we have local government chairmen, yeah. we have councillors, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and all these guys play very potent role in governance. Yeah. For instance, education yeah. is not only in the national purview. Yeah. It's, it's, it's as much as state and local. Yeah, local. Yeah. Primary health care is yeah. local. local. Yeah. You know, things like um, waste management is yeah. local. local. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, in, the, in the Constitution, there's a budget for local government in the Constitution, yeah. as well as for state government. Mm. But must we always look at yeah, president all the time. He's always Buhari. Every, every small thing is Buhari. <laughs> we don't even know our local government chairman yeah. or our House of Assembly member representing us. Well, us at, at the, at the I, 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 I would say that is, while that is very, very important, in fact, I, I like that you raise it up again because I think we need to do content as well to enlighten people in that area because you find that people just leave those ones mm. and then anybody just becomes the, exactly. the, the leader exactly. and will do anything they exactly. like because you people don't even, you don't have their time. Mm. Mm -hmm. So if we take it very valid, if we take it from local, we go to state, we take it to federal, but we also have to put into cognizance the fact that the, at the very federal level, there's a high sense of responsibility and there have been promises made to the Nigerian people. And the Nigerian people just simply want to hold these people to their promises. I mean, we are in a government that promised one dollar equal to nine, one naira. We are in a government that promised to end insecurity. We are in a government that promised to give constant power supply. As a matter of fact, <laughs> the power supply. <laughs> we are in a government that criticized Asu Strike. When, when um, they were in the opposition, the um, assault strike was on, they said, oh, this is wrong for any, any insecurity at the time. Oh, the, we are in a government where the president himself said that um, any, and any um, insecurity is... And it, I want to, before they say the Macron talk, I won't get that quote <laughs> correctly, but it's in a video. I think I posted it one time. Mm -hmm. on, yeah. So we are in a government that usually holds the, the opposition accountable at that time. But now that you are in power, do you expect people not to hold you accountable, by, accountable and to those standards that you have set? You set the standards yourself. Mm. Nobody did. You said if you were given the chance, if you get there, you will do this, you will do that. So we wouldn't necessarily blame the Nigerian people for wanting to hold them yes. to those standards. Well, well you see, the, the, the game of governance has been done in such a way whereby we have um, arms of government that can oversee the other arms of government. Mm. They are there for a purpose. Mm. For instance, the assembly is there to not just to pass laws, but to also checkmate the executive. That was, that's what they taught us in government. <laughs> Check our balance. Exactly. But now, is it, is it in practice? It, 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 Look, it, it, because uh, you, find, you find pressing issues that you believe the house should have stepped in on certain matters. But it seems as if the um, 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 leg legislature and the executive are in a brumance. Exactly, and because yeah. it's the same problem of we don't follow suit. We don't really assess this guy. And that is, that, is why, that is why party politics can be dangerous at times, too. Because you find that most of the party members, they, uh, uh, um, they are all shift inside. APC and PDP, they are in the, um, the, the party in charge, mm. the party in power. The, the party most of the members, the they, they are there. Mm. So you find them that, oh, we are not going to oppose this, or we don't want to oppose that. When naturally, your best interest, your interest should be that be of, 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 of the Nigerian people, not not party, not what the party wants. It shouldn't be party politics that over, over, overrides what is of benefit, what will be of benefit mm. to the Nigerian people. Mm. You should, Certainly. You should Certainly. consider what the people want, what will mm. be good for the people, and mm. say, look, uh, Mr. President, this is what should be done. Yes. 
Yes, I, I mean, very, 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 very correct and very, very apt. However, so this program, PVC Loud, was, was brought up, you know, to, we saw that there was a gap. We saw that um, there are some other sister stations that talk about politics and governance, mm. but the youth don't watch those stations. Mm. They, don't, they want to hear we do and, <laughs> and hear on, you know. <laughs> so we want to find a way to capture them. That's why we brought this show about. Amazing. However, there's been talks and discussions. Oh, Twitter, Twitter does not vote. The youth will not come out. They will only collect PVC for, for ID card. Some of them will jack up before election. Yeah. You know, what's your opinion? I want you to tell the people on this point. Because it is very crucial for us. The next election yes. is probably, yes. in my opinion, the most important election in mm. this country. Mm. I, find, I find the constant uh, propaganda uh, of those, about those on social media mm. not participating in elections as tiring. And I find it as dishonest. Hmm. Yeah, because it is 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 even is ridiculous. Because you come up for every time you are coming and say, "Oh, those online don't vote," as if we are not there when some will even take videos and some will take pictures it. and upload. It's it's just it's a myth. It's something that these people have just got together to make it feel as if oh, those on on social media do not have a say, especially when they see that the discussion is not going in their favor. Hmm. Right now, on social media, there's a, a, a new level of discussion. What is happening in these 23 elections and the build-up to the 2023 election is that a lot of Nigerian youths are now interested, perhaps even more interested than others were. Yeah. The energy from 2015 and the way a lot of people were excited, oh, and there was save a bar, save a bar, save a bar. This time around, there is a wave. And most of it is from the Nigerian youth that are tired. I told you, I have my PVC. Mm -hmm. And this is, the, this is the first time that I will register and collect PVC. I have never voted before. But I am voting this time. And a lot of Nigerian youths are doing the same. I've done the same. They've registered and they will vote. Mm -hmm. Because this time, there has been a catalyst, which I said, answers. Is that momentum, is that motivation, that push that the people needed, especially the Nigerian news? And they, and they said to themselves, look, we have said to ourselves, what happened to us? We, we, they did us strong too. Mm, they did. So it's high time to use our vote. Okay, protest. So they say, we'll say with the cost while I'll be, I will want too much. Let us use this PVC to chase them away. So I want to strongly believe that. If you see different um, things have been going on online, even offline. There are people online and people offline. As a matter of fact, I strongly believe that those offline are more than those online. online. You understand? No, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Because, definitely. trust me, I just strongly believe that a lot of people are tired. They just want things to be better. They even that's, the much. That's, that's just what people want. People just want, and people are, people are hopeful. Mm. This 2023, there's a lot of hope. So you can't tell me, look at look at what happened while getting PBC. We even had concerts. People came out. Yes, People yes. Were, were, were uploading on social media how they were under the sun, under the rain because of this PBC. Oh, trust me, those people will come out. Mm. They will come out. And in case anybody is out there thinking, oh, we have collected the PBC, this, there are three steps to it. You have collected the PBC. Mm. Now the second step is you must come out to vote. No, before you come out to vote, you will go and collect the PBC. Yes. Yeah. Because some people just um, register. And they, they are not collected. Collect Go and collect it. There cannot be stories. Collect that PVC. Then come out, use it to vote, and defend that vote. Because, of course, we know the way the system is. We know how they have weaponized poverty and how they have weaponized thugs. How they have weaponized violence. So people are violent, and they will say, oh, I, 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 I challenge those people now. In fact, we've done content. Anytime I do content that I go out, I talk to the people around the street. I said, if they are sending you to go and snatch ballots, or they are sending you to go and cause havoc, where something, ask them where their children are. That's one of your videos, actually. Uh, to that, ask to that them effect. where their children are. Their children are abroad. Let me, let me add one more to it before we go on a short break. Yes. One more to it is to say that after you vote, yes. stay there and count uh, your you vote. Count your vote. Defend and your vote. You. Yeah, that's what I said. And them counting in Defend front of you. Defend that vote. Absolutely. And don't let anybody use you as an instrument of violence, instrument of havoc. No, enough is enough. This time around is for the youths. 
Guys, I hope you're recording this. You have to watch this over and over <laughs> again from Mr. Macaroni. We're going to short break real quick, and we'll be right back. Thank you very much. Thank you.